Hi, this is a mini lecture on how to be an active listener. Again, it's so funny, we're taught how to read, write, and do math in school, but we're not taught how to really show people we're listening. In fact, we're often taught anti-listening skills. I know myself, if somebody comes to me with a problem, my very first instinct is tell them what to do. I'm answer woman. That doesn't work. Somebody comes to me and says, oh, I just can't deal with this boss one more time. And I say, oh, you should look for another job. Can you hear it? It just isn't working. So active listening is actually pretty easy. When someone comes to you with a strong relational message, the emotion, you just name the feeling, name the emotion. So someone comes in and says, oh, I just can't deal with my boss one more time. You just go, oh my gosh, that sounds so frustrating. And they're going, yeah. And then you know that they know you've heard them. The head is nodding. It's really cool. Don't, don't smile because they'll think you're laughing at them as opposed to, I nailed it. That was active listening. Um, again, the message has two parts, content and relational. So to show you've heard the content, my favorite thing is paraphrase, where you put what they've said in your own words. So someone says, oh my gosh, I've been living on this budget I laid out for myself for two months and I actually have money in a savings account. And you go, wow. You are really taking control of your finances. Matching the tone and paraphrasing what they said. Again, a little bit of a caution. If someone comes to you with a vent, don't agree with them. Unless, well, like with my friend of 20 years, where I know she will never repeat anything I say to her, it's okay. But I encourage you to be cautious because it can flow like this. Your coworker comes to you and says, our boss is really being a jerk today. And you're trying to be empathetic, but miss the part about don't agree. And so you say, yeah, he's really being a jerk today. Yike, warning, warning, warning. That coworker can now go to your boss and say with truth, Terry says you're a jerk. Whoa, try to explain I was only trying to be empathetic. So don't agree. The uh, Again, the easiness of responding to an emotion, if you can't think of a name of the emotion, you can just make noises like, oh, ooh, eh. <laughs> it all works. And then the person knows you've really heard them and that you care. Enjoy.